Hello, my name is Cameron Harold, and today I'm going to talk to you about the impact and effects of the internet, and more specifically, the negative impacts of social media being its social impacts. The impacts, the impact and effects of the internet. These are the negative uh, effects of social media, and these are the different perspectives of my different group members. Uh, Andrew was focusing on the political perspective. Megan was focusing on the cultural perspective. John was focusing on the ethical perspective, and Evan was focusing on the economic perspective. What is the problem? This is its global and local relevance. Well, for starters, you can have, uh, from using too much social media, depression and anxiety, and which leads to addiction. And the overuse of social media stimulates dopamine levels in your brain to a higher, more favorable quantity when, like many drugs, social media ceases to be present. There is an imbalance of dopamine and serotonin, and which can lead to a depression. Uh, so the social media also brings rise to cyberbullying. Like in person, bullying can be online, and it's not good, it's bullying. Uh, unrealistic expectations. Given social media, for example, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, one would reasonably expect what he or she is to be real or possible. To elaborate, glamorous lifestyles, one 1,000 people seeing one person's life being luxuriously lived out is not realistic for the person using social media. Also, it's a time waster for the most part. Here's some local relevance in the United States. Here we have a lot of access to the internet. 70% 70 of, uh, 70 of people have used YouTube in 2018 and 68 have used Facebook. Uh, with these high statistics of people, you can reasonably infer that so many people experience the same problems as will be discussed in the next slide. Also, next slide, England. Over 63% of residents in England have used social media. And given that social media is already global, English residents also experience the same problems. For example, the problems. Here's some evidence. This is Natalie. A 33-year-old who moved overseas and saw her previous folks and family at home posting about opinions and beliefs that really annoyed Natalie. This could be considered cyberbullying if any of the comments were repeated and directed to her. Directed to her. As a result, she deleted her Facebook. Meet Austin, a 22-year-old who said the following: "When I was thinking about New Jersey's resolu New Year's resolutions, I decided I wanted to read more. I used to read a lot. When I thought about why I didn't anymore, I realized it was because." It was, I was killing time with social media instead of truly doing what I wanted to do. And he ended up deleting his Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. Implications or cons consequences of the problem. Local implications. If this problem isn't solved locally, the negative impact of social media could affect the United States culture by creating a tired, addicted, antisocial, and depressed environment. The culture of the United States could shift from where it is to a blue, sad atmosphere. People seeing the weather on social media see what they like and go for it, meaning pur purchasing things that they wouldn't otherwise purchase. Economical impacts could actually be beneficial to the United States. Uh, of course, if the social impact, if the social environment of society is altered, then the society's public opinion is also subject to change, which alters politics. Rohana K. Christie, please come to the front office. Rohana K. Christie, please come to the front office. Sorry. These are some global implications. If the problem isn't solved globally, the same cultural, economical, and political effects that were mentioned earlier not only have the same local implications, but will happen on a larger global scale. In the case of Natalie, mentioned earlier, she was from overseas. She was overseas, but from the United States when she experienced her trouble with Facebook. Social media is accessible by the internet. Therefore, countries with internet access are all prone to the same consequences. And a kind of a spin on this is, nations ruled by communism or authoritarian where the internet is censored are not prone to these consequences, and if social media is part of their censored material, meaning whereas the free world may experience all the negative consequences, all other countries may prevail culturally, politically, and economically in respect to the, the uh, negative effects of social media. And current solutions. Based on the article, here's why people actually delete social media. People seem to experience problems and they end up deleting the media platform, just deleting it in general. But is deleting the platform the only or even the best solution? If not, then people should also, according to this other article, seven negative effects of social media on people and users, should stop spending so much time on social media, which is a great approach. Limiting your time decreases negative exposement. 
And, and additionally, according to Simon Sinek, using your phone for less than for less than an alarm clock, for example, using your phone for less is good. For example, using it only for an alarm clock is optimal. He says relying on the phone and social media too much is what causes many of the problems mentioned earlier. My innovative solution. Rather than, as a current solution, ceasing to rely too much on social media, limiting time on social media, or stopping the use of social media altogether, I believe that the sole purpose of social media could be to communicate. The other approaches have all proven to work, as shared in the articles. This approach encompasses all, them all. This approach is one I already do myself. Why? I only have one outlet of social media, Snapchat. Why do I have it? Communication. I, haven't lived, I have not limited myself, stopped completely, nor, nor, nor try not to rely on Snapchat. When I need to contact somebody, I know I can use Snapchat. This to me is the ideal approach. I feel zero of the negative consequences described in earlier slides, and I use social media for its initial reason for existence, communication. Here's my work cited page. Have a good day.